what's up guys next day here it's friday uh, i'm sorry i cut that last video short uh just was uh extremely unhappy with the circumstances that i was put in or that i chose to be put in no big deal went home took some time a couple hours obviously just a couple hours off uh you know just uh to just to chill out and uh stop right there and rethink everything I was doing so hold on let me let me flip you guys around that's better that's better so I got up this morning at like 3 30 and uh I wasn't gonna do this today but I decided this guy's taking care of me in the past as a customer getting me business and you know constantly having me get cars for him so I decided that I was gonna get up early go to Odessa in Washington DC which is in Sterling Virginia and get a BMW he needs for this weekend it's pretty pretty rushed for him to get this car he's already got it sold so he wants to get it get it detailed and get it out the door which I completely understand that's his business he sells cars so I got up at 3.30, they're open 24-7, so I rushed down there, got there about 5.15-ish. I got the car loaded, now I'm on my way to him. I've got one drop, two picks to do today, and then I'm going to drop both of the, the two picks tomorrow morning. They're only about an hour from my house, which is nice. Could do it tonight, but I'm going to be pressing my luck for my uh, 11 hours of driving today. So, me going home is going to be the safer route, and I don't mind. I plan on working, doing something tomorrow, so I decided that I was just going to pick up today and drop those two off tomorrow, and uh, then start the weekend and get my 34 hours reset. But, I'm going to do the review in this video of my trailer. I did kind of compile a list of things I wanted to go over. So once we get stopped here, probably on my 30 minute break that I need to take here eventually, I will uh, we'll do a walk around on the trailer, show you the damage that I've caused, other people have caused, and things I would change on the trailer if I were to build one myself. But we're gonna get on the road here. We're at the Maryland house on 95. Just stopped and got coffee. And uh, we're just gonna continue up the road here and see if we can't make some pickups here and one drop off. I did want to stick this tidbit in there too guys if any of you are running AMSOIL products in your vehicles whether it be hot shot big trucks your wife's freaking Toyota whatever I am now an official dealer for AMSOIL and I can uh, I can get you a pretty good deal so uh, all you need to do is get my email from one of the uh, descriptions I'll even I'll probably put it in this one as well but yeah, hit me up for all your needs. I can have it shipped right to your door um, at a pretty good discounted price. Just finished up lunch here at the Wawa. And, uh, getting ready to that gets delivered tomorrow it's actually a new auto zone car to run parts in do parts delivery in just headed to Altoona Pennsylvania and this BMW gets dropped off in like Newark New Jersey today and then we reload with a co-part car to head home gets delivered in Altoona tomorrow morning so I'm actually pretty awake for getting up at 3 30 and eating lunch I'm uh feeling good after my little half day break yesterday so I'm gonna get back on the road I'm finishing up my 30 minute excuse me again my 30 minute break 
and uh, I'm about 55 miles from dropping off and then hooking up and we get to make the make the trek home so hopefully we beat we get out of jersey and before rush hour which should not be an issue because it's only 12 30 but after the way this week's going you know can't say i would expect anything else but final pickup of the day got my paperwork at copart Twelve hours later, we're finally headed home, and uh, we got just enough time on the e-log to make it back to the house. So, knew this was going to be a long day, but everything went smooth. If we hit traffic on the way home, it is what it is. But I'll tell you, I'll take this day. This it'll end up being like a fourteen-hour day over the eight hour day I had yesterday that was absolutely terrible so I'll catch you guys back at the house all right guys Saturday morning here 7 30 we are getting ready to go drop both of these cars off I told you I'd go over this trailer uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now for you I'm just gonna start up here at the front so I got 50,000 miles on this 2019 Kaufman trailer uh, bought a brand new from the from the manufacturer in North Carolina and uh, yeah so we'll start uh, let's see here been great no issues no cracks in any welds or anything um, Jack's been working fine I did bend up the I had it slide uh, when I was taking it off uh, it was I think it was snowing or something and bent that up no big deal uh, everything's been good regular paint chips and stuff on the deck and on the hooks uh, the decks actually holding up better than what I thought it would as far as the paint goes but I don't think I've washed this trailer in 50,000 miles so to be honest with you it's just a pain in the butt every time I try to get a blue beacon they are uh, so backed up I don't have time to wait uh, just some regular scrapes whatnot uh, I do have some damage here I don't know if we're going to talk about that. I will, or sure, to South Dakota, or on the way back from South Dakota. And it was getting really, really late, and I needed to find a place to park. I was just exhausted. And uh, coming through a parking lot, and my wheel well liner on the, I want to say the right front of the Chevy, had come loose. So when I was turning, I heard this like, rubbing noise well I straightened the wheel out and uh, shouldn't have done that and uh, I clipped a big concrete barrier around a telephone pole at like two miles an hour so it's not bad it's just scraped up complaints about the uh, the wiring I've had to fix a couple lights uh, which is no big deal I guess um, I did put brand new tires on it after about 40,000 miles, I put 14 ply. Uh, these are Trans Eagle. I did have a cap that was leaking that I had to clean up on the road. That's why it doesn't look the best. I didn't have any brake clean with me. But I got the cap put back on. And that's good. Uh, as you can see, that one's dry. Tires are good. Uh, just stuff from the the d-rings bouncing up and down going down the road beating up the trailer i did have this damage is from a rollback loading a um a salvage dually onto my trailer at copart they will not load dualies or anything with the loaders they say they're too heavy but i've seen it done before but whatever so i had to uh, pay a rollback to uh to load it and that's what happened Moving on, um, back here at the back of the trailer, we'll start here. I had my personal car start to slide on me in the snow and bend that up, but the ramp hooks in just fine. Now, the back of my trailer, as you can see, gets pretty beat up. 
that is because of that that hill you can't really see it back and down into my property uh, when you get right there where the back of the truck is it tends to if you're loaded if you're not loaded it doesn't drag but um, it'll drag if you're um, if you have any weight on the trailer uh, same here tires blah 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 had a leaking cap clean that up on the road this here I had somebody cut me off in Pittsburgh and uh, it was either hit a homeless it was either hit a homeless guy hit a car or clip a like two inch round pole that was like a marker for the corner so I just clipped the pole in reaction instead of potentially hurting somebody or damaging my truck I'd rather just deal with that that's not a big deal that can even be straightened out um everybody wants to talk crap on these Kaufman trailers but I've honestly had zero issues as far as mechanical failure knock on wood but I creased the bearings took everything apart readjusted the brakes um, I'm going to need to put a set of brakes on this uh, here soon because the adjusters are frozen I have heard that issue with Kaufman trailers uh, that the adjusters freeze up so I'm just gonna it's got 50,000 miles it's served its purpose we're gonna go ahead and just get um, whole new brake kits put all the way around it's they're very cheap you can get them online for uh, 40 bucks maybe with magnets and everything uh, so I've been very happy with this trailer I don't think this side of the trailer has any other than that fender um, yeah everything's fine the uh, toolbox is in the front still working great I uh, just have to lubricate the, the latches every once in a while but other than that it's been a great trailer guys um, so a lot of you guys are like, oh, I want to go non-CDL, what trailer do you have? Um, I wouldn't hesitate to buy one of these Kaufmans again. Thought about, I paid $7,200 for this trailer out the door, so I thought about um, once my, once I get the Chevy put back together, putting somebody in this Dodge and letting them run two car non-CDL for me, and uh, potentially getting another two car. Uh, just to have for me while I'm waiting to uh, to go up in size. Still haven't found. I was always I was talking about the Ford F um, 450. Still haven't found one. I don't know. I'm bouncing back and forth. I've found a couple uh, 350 single rear wheels, uh, which. A swap truck if you're taking and putting a 12 valve in something it's not going to be a long haul truck um, there's just too many potential issues you're going to have doing a swap like that that i'm not scared of uh if the truck's local but being on the road like that you're working with aftermarket parts and it's just it would be a pain to try to fix on the road so i've, I've kicked around the idea of a single rear wheel like 350 for the wheel lift and plow um, I'll probably just leave the bed on it then maybe put a flat bed on it but it's I don't know, it's up in the air I'm getting married next month so that's kind of all uh, that's priority should I say right now I don't want to go spend a bunch of cash when I get a wedding coming up because many of you got married out there and uh, you don't have any financial help from outside party should I say it gets very expensive um, but I'm gonna hit the road here we got to get these this Nissan and this Toyota delivered to uh, Altoona PA like I said before this is a AutoZone parts runner and that's a, a salvage car that I actually um, I've worked with this company before and uh, he was great to let me drop it on Saturday since I wouldn't have made it there yesterday just because of uh, traffic and was running out of my 11 hours of driving uh, with that being said guys thanks for subscribing uh, like comment i really appreciate all the support we're up to as i'm making this video i just checked we've got 715 subscribers so once we hit that um once we hit that thousand sub mark somebody in here somebody is gonna win themselves a set of those airbags it's whatever truck you have or whatever truck you're potentially going to get, I'll order them for you. And uh, I will have them probably 
probably ship to my house to check to make sure everything's right all the parts are there and then i'll ship them out to to the lucky winner so thanks again guys i'm gonna hit the road here i need coffee obviously i look like i haven't slept in days but need a cup of coffee and uh we'll see you guys later